So if the little pally that just on the knuckles and he puts his hand inside the glove, it's not going to move up. It's not going to shift at all. It's going to stay right there on the knuckles because of that tape. Here's a complete one-on-one guide to hand wrapping in the gym. Not competition, but in the gym. Stick around to the end. I'll give you some 202 tips also. So, 1987. A study by Noble. A study of 100 hand injuries from boxing. Here's the findings. 39% of injuries were to the thumb area, mostly due to the way the gloves are made and the thumb cannot make a closed fist properly. 26% of injuries were to the metacarpals, the back of the hand, and the phalanges, the bones of the fingers. The base of the hand accounted for 35% of all injuries. So taking that all in, that information, that data that we have now from Noble, we want to look at four things when we wrap a hand. Protecting the metacarpals on the back, securing the thumb, supporting the wrist, and patting the knuckles. Looks kind of like this. First pull the thumb to the wrist. Crisscross on the back of the hand, never the palm. At least once pull the thumb to the knuckles, pad the knuckles, and finish off by reinforcing the wrist. So now let's take you the practical application in the gym. So gym wrap, what we're gonna use is an old sock, I'm going to show you about that later. Hand wrap and something else special. So if you wait around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you a little tip on something else. So here's what we got. Evan's hand. He's about to do a workout. This is a regular 180 inch hand wrap. So we're just going to go around one time, two times, three times. Make sure I loop it on the thumb, cross over the top, away from the thumb. Then come up, under the thumb, under that thumb joint, under, over, make a fist, good. Around this joint again, gonna get that joint solid. Open up, I'm gonna do at least one time, going from baby knuckle, index knuckle, around one time, a crisscross. Because what happens is, a wrap does four things. It does, it supports the wrist, the thumb, pads the knuckles, and protects the metacarpals. So we're up under here, you want to hold that for me, Evan? What we're going to do is we're going to take this old sock. I cut out the middle, so that's like the foot of the sock. We're going to roll that up. And that's going to be the pad for the knuckles. Make a fist. Good. Open up. Good. Got it. One time. Make a fist. Open up. Two times, going up high, down low. Make a fist. Good. Yep. And come up under. One time under. Crisscross on back on the back of the hand. Up over. And go to the baby knuckle to the uh, the the last two fingers. Make, I'm sorry. Open up. Open up. Open up. There you go. Good. Good. Make a fist. And crisscross on top. And notice how I come down. Underneath the pad, locks the pad in there, and again it's a crisscross for the metacarpals. About one time, open up. Good. We're gonna go over to the other fingers now, the, the index and middle. Make a fist. Good. Make sure you get some coverage on that. Come up under the pad again, crisscross on the back for the nut uh, for the uh, metacarpals. Now let's go one time. Come on up. We're gonna clean this up a little bit, make it look pretty. One time around. Two times around, make a fist, and I come under, open up, under that thumb, get that wrist joint one last time, make a fist, good, crisscross on the back, and finish it up down around the wrist, good, open up, make a fist, how's that feel? Good. Good, so turn it over. Good, open up. You make a little bar in there. Make that a little tighter. So thanks for sticking around. Here's a little tip for you. So if you're an up-and-coming trainer and you're about to start working with pros and wrapping hands, then here's a um, here's a little trick. If you practice in the gym with uh, with real gauze and real tape, it's gonna get expensive. So here's my suggestion: is wrap your boxers' hands, do it for them for a little bit, and practice again for you. Is Support the wrist, get the, the, the thumb joint, crisscross from metacarpals, pad the knuckles. 
So this rap that I did with Evan, it's not much different than a pro rap. He's got a pad, he's got Chris Crafts, that's the gauze. But here's what I did to practice the tape, is take an old 108 inch hand wrap and cut it into one inch instead of two inches. So cut one inch off of it. And know what the rules are in your area. Some are 10 feet. Here in Kentucky, it's eight feet. I only get eight feet of tape to use on the hand. And a lot of these uh, videos on YouTube use a tremendous amount of tape, more than what you really need. So know the rules when the game. Don't lose it from the tape. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go away from the thumb, same thing we do with the gauze. Away from the thumb, one time underneath, Get that thumb, thumb joint, make a fist, get around that joint, open up, crisscross on the back of the hand. Now make a fist. Here's the trick is that no, no commission is going to let you put tape on the knuckle. You need to be sometimes a quarter inch right behind the knuckle. Again, it's different for every area. but. That's why I like about having this pad, this big pad there on just the knuckles, because now I know exactly where the tape is supposed to go. And that tape is going to support the, the pad. So if it's a little pad like that just on the knuckles and he puts his hand inside the glove, it's not going to move up. It's not going to shift at all. It's going to stay right there on the knuckles because of that tape. Open up. Good. We're going to come down and make one more pass. Kind of get as much coverage as I can. Loop it around a little bit. Good. Make a fist. Is that too tight? You good? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Open up. Good. We're going to make a little crisscross. Halfway down the hand. Come under. One stroke under. Kind of get that thumb knuckle. Make a fist. And come across the hand. And just finish it up down around the wrist. Again, so that's eight feet. That's my uh, Kentucky wrap there. All right, make a fist. Feel good? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So now we have, again, we've got, you can again make a little bar there, cut that out if you want to. But that's how you can practice doing a pro wrap in, uh, in the gym.